Greetings, one and all, and welcome to One More Dungeon with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the First Impressions series, the series in which I play a game for the very first time, or at least with minimal experience of the game, and give my first impressions, my honest feedback and my honest opinion on the game, based solely around the first few minutes, the first 10 to 40 minutes of the game. And of course today we are playing One More Dungeon, a roguelike game based around being a first person shooter in a pixel art world. It looks really pretty, very stylized, and honestly it's had some fantastic reviews. This comes highly recommended to me and I'm hoping it will live up to the hype, but I have not played a roguelike game in quite some time now so I am itching to get started. And let's begin. New game. Oh wait, no, yes. Continue rather, because that's not how it works. No, I'm doing it all wrong because I quit the game because I wanted to make sure the recording software worked. Yes, new game, there we go. So, once you die, you do go back to that screen. If you quit out, apparently you can continue. I didn't know that until just now. But essentially, you go out there, you kill things, you get a score, and then with that score, the next time you can use it to purchase mutators. Things like the enemy health is halved, don't hurt me, and all sorts of things. It starts off nice, and then it's horrible. Some of them make sure that you die. Like every 30 seconds, you lose one health, or you only have have one maximum health. Essentially, how hard do you want your roguelike experience? Personally, I don't want it too difficult, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too easy, as this will be my first proper playthrough. As you will see, a score of 485 equates to about 5 minutes of gameplay before dying. So. Let's get started. Okay, so from what I found out so far, you have a shiny weapon and a less shiny weapon. The less shiny weapon being a melee weapon controlled with the right mouse button, and the shiny weapon being a magical staff in the left hand, thus using the left mouse button. Some things are destructible, some, some things are not, and sometimes it's difficult to figure out, well, which is which. Like this isn't. I don't think so, it's really bizarre. In the top right, you have a series of crystals which essentially act as ammo for your staff. So we're using a green staff, which I think's randomly selected because the first time I played this, I had red crystals and I was using a red staff. And yeah, so it equates to the, to the colour of your weapon, and that depends on the ammo you have. I do know you can pick up new weapons as you continue, as I managed to find a sword in my first go. Okay, use door, and we are going. Tab to look at the map. Okay, I don't know what these do. They're everywhere. These wells that seem to follow you as you go around them. I don't know how to activate them. It isn't with magic, it isn't with melee, it, it, and it isn't with the standard select button, which is E. I also know there are definitely hidden uh, doors here and there, so we've got to be a bit careful to look out for that, although they normally do have a clue, like a crack in them, or like a small symbol or something. Okay, okay, so we're going this way, I get it. I know where we're going, I am a, I am great at these types of games. Spoiler, I'm not great at these types of games. Okay, let's not waste our ammo on these little tiny enemies. Actually use our little sword, uh, dagger I suppose it is. Okay, we already have 45 points already, we are pro. You have a little bit more range than the enemy, but not by much. As you can see, it's very easy to, accident to accidentally get your arm chomped. I also see a really big enemy in the corner there, which is a little bit terrifying, honestly. There we go, that was better. Oh, wow, loads of these... I think they're snakes, but to me they kind of look like weird totems. Like snake totems. Snotems. Snakeums. Oh, snakeum sounds adorable. Oh, magic isn't silent. Okay, I did not know that. I've just learned a lesson. Oh, corner, wrong corner. I thought I, was, I thought the exit was there, but it wasn't. I don't know if you're faster going forward or not, so I'm just kind of running. It feels like you are, but I don't think you actually are. Though. I think it's just, I think it's just a, bit, a bit of an illusion. We have the wind staff and a seal. It uses all of the mana. Um, does it actually do damage or is it just a knockback? I don't know. I'm hoping it does damage as well, otherwise that's really wasteful. 
Nope, no hidden doors in here, just dead end, okay. Randomly generated games, eh? Dead ends galore. Ooh, a box. You can have stuff in you. Okay, green crystals, that's good, considering that's our main magic weapon. And we have somewhere with actual flooring. This area is definitely the higher class area. Ooh, a silver key. Also, I'm, I'm very rapidly running out of inventory space and I have no idea how to let go of things. And how do I activate you? I don't know. Ooh, acid staff one. Is that better than my other acid staff? I'm swapping them, I can't tell which one's which. I'm guessing no. So green is acid, okay, I mean that makes sense. Oh, mana, yep, good. Well, crystals, I should say. Let's face it, it essentially acts like mana. You are a wizard, Harry. Ah! Aha! This does no damage whatsoever! <laughs> I bet you're terrified, I guess it's to ammo. <laughs> also, yes, bats do actively attempt to dodge magical attacks, which is really annoying considering they're faster than the other enemies. Can you do anything to this? It feels like this should, should be able to be broken, but you can't. Nope, even the power of wind cannot destroy it. Now those two potions I have, I actually don't know what they are. I think it said regeneration potion when we first got it, at least. That's what I'm remembering, so I assume it's a heal over time, but honestly, we could be- Ah, yeah, 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 You made me speak in tongues. You should be, you should be ashamed of yourself. Shelf. But yeah, like I was saying, grr. I don't know what it does exactly. Aha! Hidden door! And we have a fire staff. Well, that's good, because it means now we have two types of ammo we can swap between, so... Less likely to just randomly run out, so I can be a bit more liberal with it. So where are we going? Okay, we've reached a bit of a dead end here, so let's go back. Guessing that's just the thing there. Okay, yep, there we are. Except for I can't get there because this thing is in the way, which I can't destroy this, I don't think I can. No, okay, so we're going round then. Maybe those pieces of scenery, but this looks like they can be opened. It, it looks like a trap door attached to some form of winch. Be a bit more careful since we're not on particularly high health right now. Ladder leading to a rock, okay. Not being able to look up and down for some reason causes a lot of um, claustrophobia with me. I don't know why it does, but it just kind of does. Fire. Okay, so it's the exact same, just different colour, really. Same effect as the acid staff. Ooh. Some kind of coin? Maybe they're for points afterwards. I will say, there's been far fewer enemies this time. Last time I, just, I was just bombarded and just... I just used up my, my entire staff's worth of cr crystals in like 10 seconds. Also, I do apologize for my speech at the moment. I'm still remarkably ill, and my stammer is not being kind. Um. Okay, this way. A bit, a bit of ammo there as well. Oh, bats! Why are you a thing, you flying rodents? And yes, I know bats aren't actually flying rodents. Someone, someone got really a angry at me for saying that a while back. You flying rodents? Actually, Lathrix. <laughs> bats are closer related to primates. Okay, using the potion, and it does heal me over time. Excellent. We have health. Did ooh, I heard you. I don't know where you are, but I heard you. You can't outsmart, outsmart me. I have magic and a dagger, which only the most intelligent of adventurers are given. Really dumb people get a sword at the start of their journey. Because it's dangerous to take. To go alone! Rat attack. Go back to Pokemon. Ow. That actually did less damage than everything else. Never mind. Ow! You did one damage. That's really weak, actually. What's with this? Just, just there for you, for you to feel bad to kill. It really is just the case. Oh, snake. Oh, I really should stop. We are wasting ammo, actually, at this stage. It's not. Ooh, potion. All we need is a blue staff. But then, how do we swap out the stuff we've already got? 
It's a very long dungeon so far. I know there's definitely levels to this. Yay! Altar of Health. Which increases your max health. I think, yep, it definitely does. I'm now at 10. I was at 8 max health, I think. If I'm not completely incorrect. Which, uh, admittedly, is the standard position for me, but still. Ooh. Ooh. That's why we need to... When a, we have a seal. Is that the same as a key, then, I suppose? Spikes, which I assume will hurt me if I walk into them. Random thing. Well, again, which I don't know how to use, if you can use them. Which I'm starting to doubt, honestly. Give me green or red ammo, please. Ooh, I almost missed that. And Iron Sword. I picked it up, but I didn't get it. How do I... Oops. Wait. No, seriously, how did I... I just pick, I did I did just pick that up. I know I did. So why can't I select it? I'm pressing Q like the thing at bottom left. Uh controls, please. How do I do that? How do I change weapons and such? Oh inventory's I, okay. Oh we have an inventory. Okay. Ooh. You you can even check the stats. That's cool. Okay, well, I guess I, don't, I won't be using the dagger anymore since it's just definitely weaker. Two to do, sorry, two to two, do to do, or one to one. Okay. I'm making sense today, I think. That's very clear. Okay, let's use the exit, I suppose. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Level two! Yay! We, we just got an achievement. First step. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Another regeneration potion. Another thing I can't open. If you can ever open it. A little bit low on crystals right now, so let's be very... Ah, reserved. I mean, admittedly, we do now do double damage in melee, considering what we had before, so... At least that's a benefit. You can't mess with these skills. Yay, more blue mana. That's totes useful, like. Ultra of the Mind. What's that? Oh, yeah, that bottom left thing. 70 out of 70. I have no idea what that is. Ah! Um, hello? No, no, no. Excuse me. I just want directions. Please. No! I can imagine those will be really annoying if you're also trying to dodge something in melee. Or melee. Or mel. Eh. Oh, ooh, hello. You throw stones, I throw acid gloves. We all know who's better here. Oh, jeez, okay. Ooh. That's like an area of effect ability. I didn't know that. Or is it seemed to on the first hit? Okay, well you're all dead. Now I've got 1,165 points. What are you? You don't seem openly hostile. Oh, look, he's openly hostile. He was just being very reserved for a moment. Ow! Why do you have so much health? Okay, we're running. Healing. Jeez, and a seal again. Oh, of course, that's how we got out, because the seal disappeared from our inventory. Okay. So I was correct about that. What is this? Green! Green! No, okay. If you can use it, I will never know, because it's too ooh, much of a risk. Face the wrath of acid magic. I'm an, I'm an acid manser. Not the easiest thing to say for me, but still. Oh. Thanks, game. <laughs> a lovely shiny door. Oh, wait, there's bricks in the way and I can't walk over them because I'm incompetent. There we are. You turn into a pile of bones, as all skeletons do when you kill them. Because that's how the bone structure works and stuff. Open says me! You're an iron axe. Okay, what? Are you better than the thing I've got? 
Iron Axe, oh, it's a more of a risky weapon. Rather than doing only two damage all the time, it can do three damage, or it can do one. Sometimes we just have to live life on the wild side. It also seems a bit slower. Ah! Oh, for Pete's sake, Bat! Like, real. Ooh. I don't know what these are, though. What are those? There's a clear purpose for them. I'm. Ooh, hello. I see a snake and I see you. Come on in, school bloke. School bloke is dead. That is your new name. Okay, old thrower woman. Is it. Is she meant to be like I, I, I Medusa? Ah, oh, stop. Okay, let's heal. Does a regen potion just keep on going in, until you're full health? I should try it when I'm a bit lower on health next time. Yes, green ammo, finally. No more doors, at least no more secret doors. Hmm. Did I just come to a dead end? Oh, hello? Oh, poison dagger. Poison's the enemy. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. We'll actually leave that in the hot bar so we can swap from it to the axe. So, outright damage, poisons. Outright damage, poisons. Thought I'd repeat it for anyone who didn't quite get it the first time. Hmm, looking at the map, I don't quite know where I'm meant to be going right now. That's the dead end, which screwed me over last time. So I guess, okay, here. Oh, that's what green means. Okay, green is a door. Ah! You're poisoned! I'm guessing you're immune to poison because you're a skeleton and have no flesh. Oh, look at me. I'm the game. I'm super realistic. How about you, weird snake totem? Oh. You can very much tell they're poisoned. They glow green. If that happened in real life, it'd make being a doctor a lot easier. What's, what's wrong with him, Doc? Well, you can tell by his healthy green glow, he's been poisoned. Like, I could have just swapped to the axe rather than wasting ammo there, but I just wanted to hit him with an acid ball. Where are we? Okay. Oh, 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 I hear you and another bat. Oh, this is really good! The dagger's awesome! Yes, please! Ratata, use tackle. It wasn't very effective. Unlucky on those axe. Well, pff, two really unlucky, and then two extremely lucky. Ow! Stabbed. <laughs> You die a slow and painful death for throwing your stones at me. You die a prolonged death for reasons. You looked at me funny and it insulted my mother. Okay, some more ammo for the old green weapon. Oh good, more ammo for the flying weapon as well, that's fantastic. I hear a bat. I could have sworn I just heard a bat, heard a bat, heard? I, I heard a bat. You've been hurned. Oh, how did I miss that? Let's swap that to the fire one so we're not wasting the green ammo in case we ever do want to use that wind ability again. The question is, how much is health a valuable resource? Because I am using health because I'm being damaged from time to time in melee. Or shall we use the ammo as more of a resource? Because I obviously don't get to take damage anywhere near as much by doing this. Because you can stay at range and just plink away at them. Hello, you're a thing. Seriously, there, there was definitely two swords on there. I'm not seeing things. I hope. Not again. Oh, hello. Right, you a darling. Damn it. Does 
have her hair for? Oh! 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 I, I, I just realised what this character is! It's a bag of stones on 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 like a little goblin's back. I've been seeing a woman with hair this entire time. I'm gonna say though, I do love this theme style of this game. I keep missing doors. If there's hidden loot, I'm never going to find it. Ow! Yeah, look! It's a little goblin with stones on his back! I thought that was like... <laughs> I thought he was like curly old hair! That's why I said the whole Medusa thing! No, he's even grabbing the stones from his head! I thought they were spitting! <laughs> okay, so, so we now know the poison doesn't outright kill them. Well, we do get points for, from killing these poor trapped souls. Weapon chests are useless, it seems. That's what I wanted to see. Double of the crystals we actually wanted. Ooh, you're a door. Ooh, oh yes, we got the final kind of staff. Ice staff one, replace the seal. Replace the wind staff. Oh, wait, no, we have two acid staffs there. What? How about we just do this? There we go. Let's swap over to the blue staff since we've been using all the others. Any more? Okay, so, so there's nothing else to explore. Let's continue this way. Ah, uh, you stupid goblin Medusa woman man thing. A healing potion, let's just use that now. Okay, so the so the regen potion heals for six, not for full health. Okay. We have learned an, another valuable lesson. We're we're all about them learnings, yo. Sharing the melee and the magic there. I'm an equal opportunity murderer. Okay, can we destroy this using blue magic? I just thought maybe we could because it has a little blue cap on it, so... Y you know, I mean, I had some logic there. I think we explored every... No, there's a door we missed! Look, bottom left! Oh, okay, we we're going to explore that door purely because I've explored everywhere else on this map and I feel like I should do that. Okay, we're here. There was a snake and not much else. Ooh, another one of these rooms. Hello. Oh, I need a key for the chest. I didn't even know that. Once again, one of you. Definitely can't break it. Anything else here of note? Well, if we had a key, that would have been really cool. So I think now, yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and go to level three. Ooh, this looks more ominous. Are we taking those? Are we breaking that? And we'll be... Yep, checking that... Po okay, that does actually poison you. Okay. I just wanted to make sure if that does do damage or not so we could learn for the future. Is that creature? It's just a bit of scenery, apparently. Okay. Can't destroy that. Is that an enemy? There's a lot of stuff which isn't enemies, which I think is... Yeah, just scenery. Just fire staff level 1, we've already got that. One to my level two. Okay, that's definitely an enemy. Giant spider, giant spider. Okay, if they're going to play with poison, we're going to play with poison as well. Aw, you look almost cute. Can you poison the zombie? No, that makes sense. Zombie gave us a hug. A really painful hug. Did be yeah, just me who thought that kind of looked cute? Altar of Resurrection. I don't know what that does. I assume perhaps if I die, I'll come back here for another life. Give 
me the regen potion. Thank you. Um. Can I interact with you at all? Is this a shop? Oh, it is a shop. Okay, she was a shopkeeper, I suppose. Oh, are those things coins? We can the skull on. Oh, okay. Can we sell stuff? I'd be nice if we could sell stuff. Because we only need one more coin to, to buy a level 2 magic. Sir, would you accept your life for a coin? Well, I could do that for hours, I'll admit, but for the sake of the first impression, let's continue. Ow. I've got something on me, like an effect bottom left. I don't know what that is. I think I had far too much health. Poison cloud, this time we've learned not to stand in it because common sense dictates. Let's use that healing potion and put a new one in its place. Wait, what does that say then? Oh, just the mutator. I wonder what those are. Rings, amulets, thing. A scroll, I suppose. My magic beats yours. Oh, here's something. Hello, spider. Definitely pr prefer the axe. Hello, little guy. Gonna run away, are you? Okay. Part of the scenery, I suppose. Ah. Oh, you, hello. Getting better at dodging. Can we kill these little things? No, okay, good. Oh, you can! No! I really thought you couldn't. I just stood there because of reasons. Okay, seriously though, what is this effect here? Oh, the resurrection thing. In case of death, you will respawn at the beginning of this level. Oh, okay, so I guess you keep your score as well. Pretty nice. I'm not used to these types of games, can anyone tell? How much health do you have, you bizarre little critter? You dead? Good. I also got an achievement for that. I think I deserved it. That was an elder flower, apparently. Ooh. You're poisoned. You're poisoned. Heal. Run. No. Wrong way. Where am I? Did I just teleport? I died. I didn't teleport. I died. Okay. Let's get back to where he was. I had the weird idea that perhaps you could stab every one of them, run back, and let the poison do its work, but that was stupid. Well, there's items I want. See, this is what I should have done. Also, last shot of blue, which is stupid as well, because it means now I can't use the wind staff. Not that I actually have wanted to yet, but at some point, maybe, there's a good reason to. Oh, I wonder if the wind staff affects pr um, projectiles. Iron axe, I'm already using one. A seal, yes, please. Since you need the seal to end the levels, perhaps that means in every level there's a boss, and I just haven't realised that I've been killing them just thought them to be normal creatures. Since I kind of freak out at every single creature, not just the bosses. Where am I going? What have I missed? Where was I meant to go? Shop and up, okay. Oh, hello! Na 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 na, you can't hit me. Really? Nothing up here? Where then? Oh, I see two doors I've missed. Okay, there's one just after this room, so this room now. Then there's one lower, so this one's a dead end. It's the other one. Thankfully, nice and close. Editing probably isn't needed. Haha! Wait, seriously? 
Oh, look to the right. There's two areas which I haven't explored. Well, a bit of a change of plan. I've decided that that is actually the perfect time to call this episode an end. I think I've got my first impressions completely sorted, and with the first death, it just seems like it was fate that we end it there. Ultimately, my impressions are very positive. It's quite a simplistic game, as these types of games go, and there have been lots of versions of this very style recently in terms of the... Uh, not roguelike itself, but in this specific type of roguelike, going through a dungeon in this way, in a Doom-style FPS, and having enemies just pop around corners, shoot them, you kill them, you get loot on the way. Again, it's all very roguelike like, but this is a specific kind of style which I am seeing more and more of. This one doesn't stand out amazingly, but for its price cost and with the art style it's got going on, I think it's a fantastic buy if you are into this type of game, at least that's my humble opinion. I've enjoyed it and I'm definitely going to be playing a lot off camera in my spare time and it just seems like one of those games that does have a lot of replayability. I'm hoping, really hoping hoping that the weapon variety and the magic variety increases as the game goes, because sadly I don't think there's enough uh, mutators to really increase the variety with your points you accrue throughout the levels, and that's the one thing I would say I would love to see more of. A few more ways to alter the stats of the game with the points you accrue, making the points seem a little bit more worthwhile. But other than that, there is no major complaints, a good game, if not the most original, and certainly worth the money. There will be a Steam link in the description if you wish to purchase it yourself. I think at the moment it's £3 or something similar, the link will tell you all the details in detail. So thank you for watching, if you have enjoyed the video then of course likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that more random first impressions is something you want to see more of. Thank you, and goodbye.